All right, so in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best, the perfect, the one and only material shader that you need for diamonds when it comes to creating jewelry in Blender. So that being said, let's jump right into the video. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go head over on the description down below. There's gonna be a link to this website right here. This material was made by Lance Fan. So you can see it's called Fig Diamond Shader and it works for both Cycles and Eevee. And um, as I'm scrolling through these images, as you can see, it looks pretty real. Um, and not, all, not only that, but you don't have to place these manually by yourself, which is what I used to do before. And you can play with so many different things. It's, it's pretty editable. You can play around with the spacing, the color, the shine and all that stuff. Anyways, so to get this going on Blender, what you wanna do is you of course wanna purchase it. So again, there's gonna be a link down below. Make sure you click on that link. Um, it's gonna support me as well. Um, so once you have it, um, I have it over here so you can see, uh, go to downloads. Um, it's gonna once you buy it, it's gonna it's gonna send you this. What you would do is you will click on this, and it's gonna download this file for you. Now, usually when you open it for some reason, it's gonna give you um, like a little error. Whatever you want, Blender. Whatever you want. There you go. So what you would do is you would click on ignore, and uh, if we sit switch over to Material Preview, just so that we can see what we're dealing with here. As you can see, the diamonds look pretty real. And they they shine like diamonds. Um, and as you can see, you have different variations of diamonds here. So there's also different shapes. You got hexagons, you got circle diamonds, you got these rectangle diamonds, the em ember gems, or whatever you wanna call them. And uh, again, it gives you that realism that you need for these 3D renders. And I personally think that is better than creating that super realistic diamond shader um, that is very complex to come up with. Not only that, it takes forever to render. Um, and it doesn't really give you that nice cool shine that you might wanna add to, to your jewelry. So, but anyway, so once once you have this, uh, you would wanna figure out which, um, which diamond type you wanna go for. Again, you have the square diamond, rectangle, round, and hexagon or hex diamond. So once you figure out which one it is that you wanna use, um, you wanna go ahead and open up Blender or open up your project file that you're working on. Uh, what am I doing? Opened up pretty quickly. So we wanna go ahead and let's say we wanna add a monkey. Control tool to add subdivisions modifier to it. Um, let's go ahead and shade smooth. And so to bring in that material into my project file that I got here, what, what, I, what, I, want, blah, blah, blah. what I would wanna do is I would go to file, append, go to your downloads wherever you downloaded that material search up for that file or you could just search up on your bar right here at diamond as you can see i've downloaded it three times already but anyways you'll click on one of them you'll go to the material folder and now you gotta look for that diamond that you're going for so in this case i want to go for the round diamond and so nothing pops up but what, what you do is you'll select your object you'll go to the material properties and if you click on this drop down you're gonna get the round diamond material. It's gonna it's gonna show up. Now, when I switch over to the material preview, it looks weird. And the only reason to that is that you gotta unwrap your model. So to do that, or on V, U, on V. UV unwrap your model. So to do that, you select your model, you go to edit mode, uh, three to select, to, to go into face selection mode. Make sure you're selecting all your faces by clicking A on your keyboard, right click, you're gonna go into UV Unwrap Faces, Mar UV Project, click OK. And it still looks weird and literally is because all you gotta do is bring this eyes up like so. So you could bring it up as much as you want. The, the, you know, of course, the, the larger the scale, the more diamonds you're gonna get. The smaller, the less, the, the, sm the less diamonds you're gonna get. So the bigger the diamond is gonna appear. So you could adjust that however you want. So that's one thing that you could adjust here. You could play with the sizing. You could play with the color of the diamond. So you could have red diamond, green diamond, blue diamonds. Uh, you could have nice little pinkish uh, diamonds. Uh, so that's another thing you could play with. Uh, you could also play with the random color. So you'll get these random diamond colors. And uh, as you can see, if you want to go ahead and toggle through different colors, it'll also give you different variations. But again, this is more for like that random uh, color look. And if you adjust it, 
you've got random colors like like so now another thing that this shader allows you to play with is the gap and as you can see the higher it is the more of a gap you're gonna get in between each diamond um which doesn't look that real to me there but if you go ahead and you make it a bit smaller somewhere around there it gives you a bit of a gap and not only that but you can also play with the color of the gap so if you want the gap it's, the default is usually this nice little gold um uh, color if you want to make the silver you gotta you all you would have to do is go into the white and then the gap roughness bring it down so it looks more metallic and as you can see you can also play with the height of the diamond so you can't really see it as much there um let's switch over to cycles so we could also see what's going on as you can see in cycles of course um as usual you get a bit of more realism um and as you can see it looks like there is actual diamond being distributed across my whole object and i think that looks super super clean it looks it looks nice i mean again i've done jewelry i've been doing jewelry design for a couple for a while now and uh, i usually work i used to go ahead and distribute diamonds manually one at a time across my pendant my my, my chain or whatever the case it, it, whatever the 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 object um i was using and one it takes forever to do so two um it makes your render um take a whole lot longer and three it doesn't look as cool as this it, it just i don't know it really doesn't and i'm telling you every time i post a jewelry design jewelry animation and i add this material to it i get good feedback i really do but yeah um just so you guys know in the future if i ever do any jewelry design any sort of pendant rings and i, I don't end up adding diamonds to it this is definitely what i'm going to be using so um this is going to be a video that i'm going to use to show you guys how to use this material how to add it that way if i do any tutorial um in the near future on jewelry and i add diamonds i don't have to explain to you guys how to use this or add it into your project files but anyways if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to drop a like down below comment if you have any questions or if you're doubting the material or whatever the case might be and uh, i'll try to help you with it again link in the description down below if you're gonna buy it um it's gonna help me with a cup of coffee um so don't forget that and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel i'll see you guys on the next one have a blessed day peace